Hi guys, Doug and Amy here from Plants from Human Health Institute. Today we are going to be building a raised bed. Now normally when we've built beds we usually use treated lumber and today we're going to do something a little bit differently. Not everybody has the tools or the know-how to use the lumber so today we're going to use something that um, everybody has easy access to. We are using concrete blocks and there's just very few tools to do this so let's get started. Doug you want to tell us what we're going to do first? Yeah just a few things so the tools you need are really limited like uh, the materials are the concrete block that's all it'll be made of. Uh, it's helpful to have a level a three or four foot level to you don't have to have this perfect but you do want to um, have it relatively level let's go with that. A flat shovel is going to be helpful to make sure that the ground is, is pretty flat and level and so that block doesn't wobble, especially if you're going up two courses like we are. We're going to go deep enough so that if we have some um, more deeply rooted plants like sweet potatoes or large carrots, uh, they'll, they'll be able to go down plenty deep. And I think that, oh, and it doesn't hurt to have a tape measure to measure off your area as well. So this is the area that we're going to be working with. We're going to be looking at about a four by six, uh, maybe five by six area. Um, you can make it whatever size you want to. So we have enough blocks we think to do just about that much that much area. What's so, the size of a concrete block, Doug? A concrete block is 16 inches long and eight inches, well, okay, it's really 15 and a half by seven and a half. Okay. Um, when you have the mortar joint for a building, then okay. 16 okay. by eight. Okay, so, okay? all yeah, right, great. Good question. And, so what we'll want to do is take our flat shovel and level our area, obviously using the tape measure as we go so that we um, just shovel as much as we need to. We don't want to do extra. Um, now I see that there are some weeds and stuff coming up through here. What are, how are we going to handle that? What are we going to do about that? Well, before we put in new soil, we have a couple options. We can just, we can get rid of the weeds that are there, or we can put cardboard on top and allow that to, to smother those weeds and then uh, put new soil on top of it. So once we get our bottom course built, maybe we'll figure out which way we want to go with that. Oh, sounds great. Let's get started. Okay. Okay, so we've got the blocks up. Um, it's not perfect, you can find cracks and so forth, but this is not a foundation for a house or anything, it's to hold soil in and that's all, that's your goal. So one of the things we want to see at the end, are we level? Well, you can see right here, that bubble's fairly much in the middle. So we're, we're happy with that. Uh, the, the blocks aren't all wiggly, we checked them out and uh, you know, they're pretty good. We had a little gap and we, you know, you can fix that by putting things underneath. So it really turned out uh, just fine. Notice the second course, if you would happen to go up to, does not line up exactly the way it was. We, we um, go, we take the second level and offset it so that there's a, um, we're bridging that union there, okay? So the next, the next thing will be to put soil in here, and uh, then it's really, really ready to plant or do, um, you know, whatever planting and planting you're ready to, you want to do. So what's our next step? So we need to know how much soil that we are going to put in here, especially if we're uh, having to buy it. If we don't just have a big pile of soil around, most people don't. So we need to measure, and we're gonna give you folks a, a few measurements and see if you can calculate how much soil needs to be purchased to go into this bed, okay? So okay. let's measure, all right? all right? And I'll tell you what, Amy, for, for ease, let's round to nearest uh, quarter feet, third of a foot, all right. sound good? All right, so okay. let's see what that looks like. So we have, what, right oh. at, I'm just about 64 inches, so we'll call it 64 inches. All right, for so length. 60 feet is, 60 inches is five feet, so that's really five and a third? Five and a third. Five and a third. Yeah. All right, sounds okay, good. Okay, we'll go across. Let's, let's do this end right here. Okay. Don't mind. Okay. Oh, this one's easy. That's four feet, 48 right, inches. 48 inches. All right, okay. now 
What's, what's our best step here? Okay, so right about here. you guys our... may not be able to see that exactly, but it's the dirt, the soil shallower on this end than that end. So we're gonna take kind of an average in the middle. What you got there, Amy? Is that uh, about I've got 15? about 15 inches. Okay, so there we go. So 64 inches by 48 inches with 15 inches deep. So how much soil would that be? Uh, see if and, you can figure out the total square foot and if you're really feeling fun with math, see if you can figure that out in square yards or cubic yards rather. Yeah, okay. And you might want to go to cubic feet first and then go to cubic yards.